Hello researchers, welcome back. In this video, we will see how you can download and visualize the articles which are already published. Because this is the basic step, right? We have to collect literatures like already published literatures and we have to review at least 20 to 30 literatures to come up with a possible solution, possible problem statement. The problem is no. The IEEE papers, few IEEE papers and SCI published papers, which we cannot access the complete article. Okay, that is a full fledged article. We cannot read only we can see the abstract and introduction. Okay, so I'll tell you how you can view even download the restricted paper. Okay, which link you have to access. That is what we are going to see here. So what you are viewing here is a Google Scholar. This is the website which is provided by Google itself to make our work very very easy okay so what we are going to do is I'm going to just try with a name okay that is data mining so this is basically mine research okay data mining the lupus disease so if you see you can see various uh, papers has been published okay in the left side you can see that what are the time ranges so as you are downloading the papers it should be at least five years like you can only take the papers which are only five to three years old okay so you cannot uh, bring up the paper which are from 1990 1998 like that okay it is advisable to add the references like that fine see here you can see that uh, this is uh, this is the link for uh, science direct where you can see only the sample screen that is the abstract okay and uh, see if you just click here so it's from uh, I think it's a science direct scopus okay so you cannot access here you have to purchase the PDF okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this URL and i have an another website called sai hub okay i'll i'll paste this url in the description box so sai hub so simply paste it here and click open okay where you can see the complete paper okay this is your complete paper which will be downloaded click open it will prompt you for the download so you can just simply select the path where you want to download and if you try to open it you can see the complete paper can you see it here yes so this is what the very first thing you should know like even if it is a uh, access restricted you can easily download it okay because we have to access it right that is what like you can use google scholar here you can see that it's an elsewhere paper and it is released in 2017 okay and you can select any time range and even you can click a custom range okay click on the custom range and give 2016 to 2021 okay because you just need uh, the papers between these years okay if you are trying to add any reference in your journal or a conference paper you have to add it like this fine and it should be uh, try to include the reference paper which is has been published in a well-renowned journals like IEEE, Elsewhere, Scopus, like um, uh, Springer, like that. Okay, because uh, that too will be counted. If you are trying for uh, international Scopus based conferences, then even the references will matter. Okay, and here you can see that um, this is the paper one that is the first one which is shown and below you can see that you have some options okay like uh, how many how many persons have cited and what are the related articles which are related to this and how many versions are there okay and if you see this quotation mark okay this is called a site okay click here site you can see the various format of citing okay so in your reference uh, even if you are trying to apply like a uh, summit for a conference or a journal they'll be having a specific reference format like APA reference, MLA reference, okay? So 
that you should be very very clear like which format you are uh, using for your reference in while i was working while i was submitting um, for the conferences no during 2015 i think yeah so there i'll be writing everything right from the like once if you see the paper no you can see who is the first author and the last author okay so he is the first author he is the second author so i'll be copying this and then i'll copy this uh, paste it in my reference and then um, uh, which uh, page number and when it has released everything okay but google scholar has reduced almost all this work you can simply select if you want uh, mla style then simply select here if you want apa style and if you want chicago harvard vancouver so whatever style you want you can simply select and copy it okay right click and copy or else control c and then if you just go and uh, paste it in your word it will be perfectly copied okay i'm just using notepad but if you just paste it in the word it will be copied as per the format okay so this is the another important thing in google scholar and the next is like you can just make it like you can save it because always you don't want to go and search for it okay so this will be saved in your library you can create a login in uh, google scholar and everything will be saved okay few papers you can directly download that is also possible in google scholar and if, if the paper is restricted that is if the article is restricted even you can just uh, download it using sci hub okay sci hub is really very important for all the researchers fine so you don't want to buy and you don't want to wait for access yes so that is what uh, here you can see the um, format okay this is a pdf format and this is a pdf format so it will be downloaded as a pdf format and there are various searches as well like it will show what are the searches and if you like this paper so what are the related papers are there like if you see related articles okay you can see what are the related articles for that topic fine so you can see the related article here okay and uh, you can also see how many people have cited okay cited by 22 22 members have cited and you can see the papers as well what are the papers which uh, are which uh, cited this specific article okay which is from elsewhere okay so a uh, few things you should remember always so whenever you are trying to write a article for a conference or a journal or sci journal scopus journal even international ugc cat journal you should always keep this in mind the first one is the relevance of the paper that is uh, uh, first one is the relevance and the second one is the year which it was published okay because as you know the technology is always growing uh, this is this will not be suitable for history and english papers okay i'm just talking about the technology based paper like computer science electrical engineering uh, ace okay mechanical engineering even though even i think in mechanical also they need a uh, history of uh, histories of data but in technological based data they only need the data which you have referred that is between 5 years okay so keep that in mind you should only consider the 5 years of data and then it should be published in the highly renowned journal like elsewhere ieee and uh, scopus like uh, sorry uh, springer okay that you can easily see it here so in which journal it has published it is published in the elsewhere it is published in the elsewhere okay so based on that you have to get it okay and even if you want to uh include your uh, patterns then you can you have to find the patterns then click here include patterns okay and if you need uh, that if anyone has uh, recently published the paper and you need that alert like they have published like that then you can just simply click create alert and then uh, it will be created okay so data mining loopers and then just uh, create alert click create alert it will be creating an alert and whenever anybody who published any Uh, article in a journal or a conference with the name data mining and the lupus disease that will be delivered to your inbox gmail inbox okay got it so hope you find this video very useful like you can easily download it and please share this video to everyone so that everyone will uh, get this uh, the the importance of this 
research and also they will know they will come to know how to download and they will make use of it thank you so much for watching bye bye